Uh, what I do in a more day-to-day -day, uh, approach is just to rely on one or two coats of the Crazy Glue brushed on and then um, maintaining the overall shape with a nail file. And I have um, become fond of these. This is a glass nail file. Um, it has this nice little case, uh, so it prevents it from getting broken. And this type has two different um, uh, grits, uh, a kind of a medium and a fine. So I just kind of wanted to walk through some of um, the approach to filing. So I have a shape, as I mentioned, that is somewhat curved in the uh, conforming to the shape of the finger and then my thumbnail is a little bit more kind of in this uh, diagonal shape and that I think is the different way that the thumb is going to strike the string so I'll take this glass nail file and it's very uh, it, it takes off a lot of nail in a very short period of time so I tend to just kind of constantly look back at the fingernail and make sure that it's the shape that I want it to be. And the general length, a good thing that I have read over the years, is that if you put a solid surface up to the nail, you want generally a, a, an even amount of flesh hitting and nail hitting. If the nail is too long, it'll just be nail, and if it's too short, it'll be flesh. So, so the final thing that I'll do is go through on the fine side of the nail uh, file and just kind of feather it so that I feel like if there's any kind of edge that's gone and when I brush my flesh over the nail I want to feel that the final con the final shape of the nail is basically beveled up ever so slightly like this and I've found that it keeps it a little bit it keeps it fresher for a little bit longer here so I'll do that for each nail there we go and then that tends to make a little bit of like a flared very fine bit of fingernail at the end so then you go through and just kind of I'm almost just tapping off and apply the crazy glue now here's a lesson that I've learned uh, the little dust and whatever residue may exist on your fingernails having just filed them what tends to happen is that the brush will interact with that dust and you'll carry the dust back into the crazy glue. And I th what I suspect is that it gives the glue something to bind to. And so the, the glue kind of starts binding internally into the bottle, which of course makes the glue uh, harden up and become what, what actually happens is it gets, uh, it gets very kind of like sticky like when you pull it out, uh, like a long strand will still be kind of connected back. And so it, it acts very differently. Uh, it's very thick and very unusable. So you want to make sure that your fingers are very clean. And what I tend to do, sometimes I just wipe them on my pants. Uh, if you wipe them on your pants, and you have dark pants, such as the ones I'm wearing now, uh, and you notice that there's something uh, left on your pants, that usually means that you do have this dust and it's wise to go wash it off so I'm gonna go wash my hands off real quick and we're back so I have washed my uh, washed my hands and dried them very uh, thoroughly and now I'm gonna take this crazy glue and just put it right on the edge you want to go about a half inch uh, up from the edge, but you don't want to do the entire nail. Um, I feel like nails and cuticles have a certain health, and when you cover the whole thing in a chemical, that's not a good idea. 